Lauren Day Makeup. So today I have another book review for you. So the book that I'm going to be reviewing today is called The Kind Diet and this is by Alicia Silverstone. Um, I love Alicia Silverstone. I've been a huge fan of Alicia um, ever since she was in Clueless and I saw Alicia Silverstone when she came to the Gold Coast um, back when they were promoting Batman and Robin. So that was exciting. She's so beautiful so I've been a huge fan of hers and now I really admire her for living the kind life. And the start of this year, I decided that I was going to um, turn to vegetarian and go green. And I purchased this book on Amazon and it's definitely been one of the highlights of this year. Uh, it's been um, educating myself on switching over to a green, natural, healthy, organic diet. So this is my book review of Alicia Silverstone, The Kind Diet. So this book is described as a simple guide to feeling great, losing weight and saving the planet. If you're not a vegetarian now, this will definitely open up your eyes to why it is really important for the earth to become a vegetarian or even if you want to um, add more healthy foods to your diet, this will really open up your eyes to um, the kind foods. So I found this book to be really educational, there's lots of information in here and things I read in this book that I didn't know before which has definitely changed you know, the foods that I eat and my eating plan day to day. So she first discusses in here the nasty foods, um, the ones that are not good for your diet and not good for the planet and um, those include meat and dairy and also white sugar and processed foods. She then goes in on to discuss the kind foods, which is fruits and vegetables, whole grains, um, protein, which is made from like natural resources, not non-meat, like beans, etc., and also um, desserts. So um, I really like the fact that she gives a lot of information, a few of the pages, especially the, the nasty food pages about the meat and dairy. I had tears in my eyes. I got tears on this book. Um, when I was reading it so I've now decided that um, I'm not eating any meat at all I've cut out all meat in my diet since the start of this year and also now I don't drink cow's milk as well um, because I think the dairy industry is you know really really sad that the little baby cows get taken away from their mothers at only five days old and get slaughtered so that you know we can have milk um, to be sold in the supermarket so we can pour milk on our cereal and have milk in our coffee like this is absolutely ridiculous and disgusting and you know I don't really agree with that so now I've changed from cow's milk to soy milk now I used to be a huge drinker of cow's milk and if I have ever known years ago that baby cows are slaughtered so that we can have milk is I would have changed to soy milk like years ago so I feel really guilty that you know now I do know this and I've drunk milk for all these years, so um, it makes me very emotional. But um, yeah, so she talks about dairy and meat, and then she talks about the healthy food. So since reading this book, I have like become so healthy. I've been eating apples every day. I've really fallen in love with fruit. Fruit is like nature's candy. So I've been loving fruit. Um, I've been eating pineapples, mangoes, um, grapes. I really love apples at the moment. They're really high in fiber. You know, it's like having a really great snack. I love to have like an apple and some almonds in the afternoon or in the morning. I've cut out most of the dairy that I used to eat. I don't eat any margarine or butter now. I don't eat yogurt. I don't eat cow's milk. I've switched to soy milk and almond milk. Soy milk's actually really nice tasting. It's really sweet and nutty and I really like it but I have definitely cut out a lot of the milk that I used to um, drink. So if you're watching this, I'm a huge milk drinker. It is easy to cut milk out. You just, um, you know, even if you gradually cut out one or two glasses of milk a day or, you know, not have so much on your cereal, etc. Also then she goes on to explain about the benefits of having those kind foods in your di in your diet. So cutting out processed fruits and replacing them with whole grains and also proteins like soybeans. Um, it's like so many options that she gives you in here about what you can substitute. Because that's fair enough for people to say, oh, I'm going to become a vegetarian, but what am I going to eat? This tells you, if you used to eat this, this is what you can eat. And it actually has this table in here about the benefits of showing you meat versus um, beans and they're actually higher in protein beans than, than meat and they have everything higher is on the beans 
um, side than the meat side. So it's just crazy when I see these advertisements on TV saying that meat is so high in protein because it's just not true. So um, there's lots of nutritional facts and information in this book. Um, there's lots of like diagrams and just so much information in this book, personal accounts from Alicia Silverstone herself. And then basically it has like meal plans. So you can see here is a page of like the meal plan. So that's really good. So it tells you, you know, what you can have for, um, there's like a, basically like a superhero diet that you can follow and it tells you like, um, breakfast, lunch and dinner, what you can eat. There's different levels of this. Like Alicia is not claiming when she sells you this book that you're going to become a vegan overnight like she is. She's basically saying that there's different levels that you can start at. So you can start at by just cutting out one meal of meat per day or per week and then, you know, progressing to becoming a vegetarian and then later if you want to become what she calls a superhero um, vegan. So there's different steps in this book. So don't be scared if you're not a vegetarian. You, you can still get this book and you'll really find some, you know, amazing information out from this book. Um, part three of the book is her recipes and these recipes are amazing. Most of them, um, actually I think all of them are vegetarian and vegan and they're just like really simple things. She's got lots of photographs in the book. Um, there's actually like really nice salads, desserts. There's so many yummy desserts in this book. Um, oatmeal, you know, like just like smoothies, hot chocolates, you know, lots of vegetarian and vegan versions of your favourite meals. And um, there's great photography in this book. It lists all the ingredients and step by step how to use it. And you know, how to make the, um, you know, the meal step by step kind of information there. So really, really good. Um, so I really love this book. Um, I would highly recommend this book. Um, if you're not familiar with Felicia Silverstone, she was an actress, or she still is an actress. She's a young mum now. She just had a baby, and she is a massive dog lover as well. She loves dogs. Um, she has dogs as well, rescue dogs. And she's a vegan. She's been a vegan for about 10 years now. She's also a PETA ambassador. So she has a Go Veg or Go Vegetarian PETA campaign. Um, I'll link a video below and you can uh, watch her video. It's really cool. So um, I really highly recommend this book. It's really informational. It has, you know, da the daily meal plans. It has information about, um, you know, the great foods that she recommends and also the nasty foods. It has um, uh, your recipes, all of her homemade recipes. And the best thing about this book, The Kind Diet by Alicia Silverstone, is she also has an accompanying um, website called thekindlife.com. And it refers to this in the book. So if there's you want to know more information about a particular recipe, well, it tells you to go to a link on the website about that recipe. So. Um, she has information on her blog, thekindlife.com. You can discuss it. It's like a huge big community of people. And um, she puts recipes up on there. So even if you don't get this book, you can jump onto The Kind Life now and you can download some of the recipes that are featured in this book. So New York Times bestseller. And it's available at Amazon. Um, you can also buy it in bookstores. I love this book. Thank you, Alicia, for making this book. It's amazing. And I hope she has more books like this in the future because I love her kind life. You know, the website she's created in this book. I think it's amazing. And it's definitely transformed my diet from, you know, eating so much junk food and so much sugar. And I used to eat meat as well. I haven't been a big um, meat eater, like, usually my whole life. I haven't really never really had steak. I always hated lamb. Um, I never really liked the taste of meat. I used to eat chicken a little bit, but um, it was really easy for me to change to vegetarian for moral reasons um, and, you know, also for reasons for my health. So Alicia Silverstone was also featured in my Eco Glamazine. She was my November Eco Glamazine cover girl. So I have a cover story um, about this book, The Kind Diet, and also about Alicia Silverstone and the charity work that she does for PETA um, on my Eco Glamazine website, which is ecoglamazine.com. So you can check that out. And there's also other information there about um, if you want more information about vegan diet tips and just um, some inspiring stories from uh, some other girls that are vegans as well. Um, I really love this kind life and um, thank you guys so much for watching this review. I hope it was helpful for you guys and I hope that you'll go out and pick up this book, The Kind Diet by Alicia Silverstone.